In mathematical logic, a Boolean-valued model is a generalization of the ordinary Tarskian notion of structural from model theory. In a Boolean-valued model, the truth values of propositions are not limited to true and false, but instead take values in some fixed complete Boolean algebra. Boolean-valued models were introduced by Dana Scott, Robert M. Solovey, and Petter Vopenka in the 1960s in order to help understand Paul Cohen's method of forcing. They are also related to hating algebra semantics in intuitionistic logic. Definition. Fix a complete Boolean algebra B in a first-order language L. The signature of L will consist of a collection of constant symbols, function symbols, and relation symbols. A Boolean-valued model for the language L consists of a universe M, which is a set of elements, together with interpretations for the symbols. Specifically, the model must assign to each constant symbol of L an element of M, and to each n a r y function symbol f of L and each n tuple less than a0, and one greater than of elements of M, the model must assign an element of M to the term f. Interpretation of the atomic formulas of L is more complicated. To each pair R and B of elements of M, the model must assign a truth value, R equals B, to the expression R equals B. This truth value is taken from the Boolean algebra B. Similarly, for each n a r y relation symbol R of L and each n tuple less than a0, n1 greater than of elements of M, the model must assign an element of B to be the truth value, R. Interpretation of other formulas and sentences. The truth values of the atomic formulas can be used to reconstruct the truth values of more complicated formulas, using the structure of the Boolean algebra. For propositional connectives, this is easy. One simply applies the corresponding Boolean operators to the truth values of the subformulae. For example, if phi and psi are formulas with one and two free variables, respectively, and if a, b, c are elements of the model's universe to be substituted for e, x, y, and z, then the truth value of is simply the completeness of the Boolean algebra is required to define truth values for quantified formulas. If phi is a formula with free variable x, then where the right-hand side is to be understood as the supremum in B of the set of all truth values, phi, as a range is over M. The truth value of a formula is sometimes referred to as its probability. Boolean valued models of set theory. Informally, the elements of VB are Boolean valued sets. Given an ordinary set A, every set either is or is not a member, but given a Boolean valued set, every set has a certain fixed probability of being a member of A. Again, the probability is an element of B, not a real number. The concept of Boolean valued sets resembles, but is not the same as, the notion of a fuzzy set. The elements of the Boolean-valued set, in turn, are also Boolean-valued sets, whose elements are also Boolean-valued sets, and so on. In order to obtain a non-circular definition of Boolean-valued set, they are defined inductively in a hierarchy similar to the cumulative hierarchy. For each ordinal alpha of V, the set VB alpha is defined as follows. VB0 is the empty set. VB alpha plus 1 is the set of all functions from VB alpha to B, is the probability that X is in the set. If alpha is a limit ordinal, VB alpha is the union of EB beta for beta less than alpha. The class VB is defined to be the union of all sets VB alpha. It is also possible to relativize this entire construction to some transitive model M of ZF. The Boolean valued model MB is obtained by applying the above construction inside M. The restriction to transitive models is not serious, as the Mostovsky collapsing theorem implies that every reasonable model is isomorphic to a transitive one. Once the elements of EB have been defined as above, it is necessary to define B valued relations of equality and membership on VB. Here a B-valued relation on VB is a function from VB times VB to B. To avoid confusion with the usual equality in membership, these are denoted by x equals y and xy for x and y in VB. 
they are defined as follows. X, Y is defined to be T DOM. X equals T, Y. X equals Y is defined to be X, Y, Y, X. Where X, Y is defined to be T DOM X, T, Y. The symbols and denote the least upper bound and greatest lower bound operations, respectively. In the complete Boolean algebra B, at first sight the definitions above appear to be circular. Depends on, equals, which depends on, which depends on. However, a close examination shows that the definition of only depends on, for elements of smaller rank, so, and, equals, are well-defined functions from VB times VB to B. It can be shown that the B-valued relations, and, equals, on VB make VB into a Boolean-valued model of set theory. Each sentence of first-order set theory with no free variables has a truth value in B. It must be shown that the axioms for equality and all the axioms of ZF set theory have truth value 1. This proof is straightforward, but it is long because there are many different axioms that need to be checked. Relationship to forcing Set theorists use a technique called forcing to obtain independence results and to construct models of set theory for other purposes. The method was originally developed by Paul Cohen but has been greatly extended since then. In one form, forcing adds to the universe a generic subset of opposite. The posit being designed to impose interesting properties on the newly added object. The wrinkle is that it can be proved that there simply is no such generic subset of the posit. There are three usual ways of dealing with this. Syntactic forcing A forcing relation is defined between elements P of the posit and formulas phi of the forcing language. This relation is defined syntactically and has no semantics, that is, no model is ever produced. Rather, starting with the assumption that ZFC proves the independent statement, one shows that ZFC must also be able to prove a contradiction. However, the forcing is over V, that is, it is not necessary to start with a countable transitive model. See Kuhn for an exposition of this method. Countable transitive models One starts with a countable transitive model M of as much of set theory as is needed for the desired purpose and that contains the posit. Then there do exist filters on the posit that are generic over M, that is, that meet all dense open subsets of the posit that happen also to be elements of M. Fictional generic objects Commonly, set theorists will simply pretend that the posit has a subset that is generic over all of V. This generic object, in non-trivial cases, cannot be an element of E, and therefore, does not really exist. Perhaps surprisingly, with a little practice this method is useful and reliable, but it can be philosophically unsatisfying. Boolean valued models and syntactic forcing Boolean valued models can be used to give semantics to syntactic forcing. The price paid is that the semantics is not too valued, but assigns truth values from some complete Boolean algebra. Given a forcing pose at P, there is a corresponding complete Boolean algebra B, often obtained as the collection of regular open subsets of P where the topology on P is defined by declaring all lower sets open. Now the order on B can replace P for forcing purposes, and the forcing relation can be interpreted semantically by saying that, for P an element of B in phi a formula of the forcing language, where phi is the truth value of phi in VB. This approach succeeds in assigning a semantics to forcing over V without resorting to fictional generic objects. The disadvantages are that the semantics is not too valued, and that the combinatorax of B are often more complicated than those of the underlying pose at P. Boolean valued models and generic objects over countable transitive models One interpretation of forcing starts with a countable transitive model M of ZF set theory. A partially ordered set P, and a generic subset G of P, and constructs a new model of ZF set theory from these objects. Cohen's construction can be carried out using Boolean valued models as follows. 
construct a complete Boolean algebra B as the complete Boolean algebra generated by the pose at P. Construct an ultrafilter U on B from the generic subset G of P. Use the homomorphism from B to true false to turn the Boolean valued model MB of the section above into an ordinary model of ZF. We now explain these steps in more detail. For any pose at P there is a complete Boolean algebra B and a map E from P to B plus such that the image is dense E whenever P Q and E equals zero whenever P and Q are incompatible. This Boolean algebra is unique up to isomorphism. It can be constructed as the algebra of regular open sets in the topological space of P. The map from the pose at P to the complete Boolean algebra B is not injective in general. The map is injective if and only if P has the following property. If every RP is compatible with Q, then PQ. The ultrafilter U on B is defined to be the set of elements B of B that are greater than some element of G. Given an ultrafilter U on a Boolean algebra, we get a homomorphism to true false by mapping U to true and its complement to false. Conversely, given such a homomorphism, the inverse image of true is an ultrafilter. So ultrafilters are essentially the same as homomorphisms to true false. If G is a homomorphism from a Boolean algebra B to a Boolean algebra C and MB is any B-valued model of ZF we can turn MB into a C-valued model by applying the homomorphism G to the value of all formulas. In particular if C is true, false, we get a true, false, valued model. This is almost the same as an ordinary model. In fact we get an ordinary model on the set of equivalence classes under equals of a true, false, valued model. So we get an ordinary model of ZF set theory by starting from M, a Boolean algebra B, and an ultrafilter U on B. We have seen that forcing can be done using Boolean valued models. By constructing a Boolean algebra with ultrafilter from a poset with a generic subset, it is also possible to go back the other way. Given a Boolean algebra B, we can form a pose at P of all the non-zero elements of B, and a generic culture filter on B restricts to a generic set on P. So the techniques of forcing and Boolean valued models are essentially equivalent.